just to play snooker. His career has been constantly interrupted by sponsorship troubles and just trying to get funding. But he's got a two-year card. He won the Pan American Championship last year in Houston, Texas. So this uh, is his first of two years guaranteed on the tour. He's been in a couple of last 16s. That's the stage, of course, he's looking to get to. He's a terrific potter, actually. Great to value, but this is a, a big ass coming onto the main table against Judd Trump. But if he's knocking those in and getting a nice couple of kisses, well, you never know, Joe. <laughs> well, great shot and deserved something, didn't it? And he got it nicely on the black. What was interesting about that interview, he said that because in Brazil the snooker tables are smaller, they're... Uh, Lost 10-8 to, to Alfie Burden in the World Amateur Championship final. That was the, the first year that he was actually playing on the 12-foot tables. Quite incredible. It really is. John Higgins has beaten uh, Zhao Gudong 4-2. He's the latest man through. Corin Wilson through as well. So the night's last 16. It's bubbling up nicely, isn't it? A lot of 15. people expect yeah. Trump to be there, but at the moment, I'm sure he'll be interested to see how Igor Figueroa gets on here on the TV table. It was a Brazilian player, a very famous one, Rui Chapo, and uh, 22. played in a, in a white hat, which he said he would not take off until somebody beat him. And in the mid-80s, Steve Davis was invited out, Steve, 23. the king of snooker at the time, invited out to play him, and everyone assumed, well, Steve's going to beat him, but of course he got there, all the tables were smaller, pockets were smaller, it was a very different game, and Rui Chapo won. The hat stayed on. <laughs> 30. Yes, I played Igor in the, um, the seniors. And both games, there was 60-odd 60, 60 points in front, and he got two really good clearances and really impressed me. Got used to the table more or less instantly, much like what he's doing here. As it played on the match table, but so far his positional play has been spot on. 38. He knows he's got to play well against Trump. Thirty-nine. Well, he's chose to play for the pink. He could have played for the black. He's chose to play, play for the pink. So I assume he's going to go into the pack of reds here. A lot of screw power. Could be okay. Definitely on one to the left middle. Forty-five. They played once before. 46. And Trump won that one 4 0. 50. Yeah, he was saying that in certain parts of Brazil, there are so many snooker 50, tables we found in bars and sort of social areas. But as I say, they're not 12 foot tables, they're smaller different form of the game.
There has been a, an invitation event in Brazil, 2011 Brazil Masters, that Sean Murphy won. Well, that's worked out OK. He's got this red to the left middle, if nothing 61. else. On one to the left corner. Well, it's a sensational start. Judd Trump broke off, left a long red on. Eagle Figueroa knocked it in, and he's still going up to 61. Sixty-two. And hasn't been out of position once in all that break. No, he played Neil Robertson uh, in the qualifiers for the German Masters, and he started that match with two centuries. He went 2-0 up against Robertson with two centuries, and then Robertson finished with two centuries to beat him 5-2. So he produced a very high standard in a match that he lost. You know, you see the result, you think, well, it's a routine win for Robertson, but it wasn't. Another good pot from Cannon. Now, where does the pink go? Terra Camilleri. 63. Needs another red, and he'll be safe. What a start. I mean, this is his first visit. He's playing the world champion and world number one on the TV table. Trump plays all his matches on the main table. And Igor has knocked in a red. He's putting together this break. Just needs this red. Should be 1-0 up. What a 69. start for the man from Brazil. The thing is, he doesn't know how the table's playing. He's not played on it. But he's found out pretty quick, Joe. Yeah, as I say, he's been spot on with his positional play. It's as though he's been out there all day playing. Got used to the table. 74. And you were talking about setting off with century breaks against Robertson. He could be doing one against Trump as well. Doesn't respect reputations, no matter how good they are. Well, his highest break as a pro is 137. He can beat that here. That would be even more impressive than just making the century. 83. Got a very fluent style, and Trump, who we, we're used to knocking in the big breaks, has just had to watch it. He broke off, that's all he did. 90. These days you've really got to break off well, haven't you? Otherwise it's not an advantage 90. anymore. <laughs> nice plant. Well, as I say, his career's been hampered by just trying to get funding to come over from Brazil to play. So having first turned professional 10 years ago, he's only made nine centuries on the tour. 97. But he's surely going to make a 10th here, and hasn't it been impressive? 98. He looks so relaxed as well out there. I mean, this is a massive match for him. This black to start against the world champion with a century break. Well done. Game on then. 105. 106. Great cue power. Great Cuba, timed it so well. 115. 115. Well, making the decision to come over to England looks to be paying off. This is great stuff. So the last five colours needed to make his highest break as a professional.
122. One hundred and twenty seven. Again, spot on. Faultless this break. One hundred and thirty three. What a start. So the black for a one forty. It's his highest break as a pro. Amazing stuff. It's just like watching Eagle Brazil. Figueredo. Eagle Figueiredo from his first shot has made a total clearance against the world champion, Elise Judd Trump. It's going to be a very, very interesting... 140 total clearance, his highest ever break as a pro to lead Judd Trump 1-0. Trump just broke off, that's all he did. Well, we were saying earlier, it's so often see that happen, they catch the pink. Yeah, that's because they don't want to put too much side on and hit too low on the reds and leave the red on. So better to give six points away than leave a red on. We've seen what happens if you leave a red on with Ego. Don't think he could see enough of this red to pot it. But it looks like he can hit it full ball. Be interesting to have a look. Well, this is why it's got to be spot on from the ref. I'm sure it will be from Terry Camilleri. Yeah. They can check with the marker if they need to. Who has the screen, of course. That's what they're doing right now. Okay. You happy with it? So, take two. I should say, by the way, Mark Williams has just lost 4-1 to Anthony McGill. Not a good day for the Welsh overall. Trump reaches them this time. Yeah, Matthew Stevens and Daniel Wells also beaten. Dominic Daly represents Wales, is through. With a great win over Mark Allen. In fact, it'll be Dominic's first time in the last 16 of this event for 16 years. Well, Trump wouldn't have known exactly how Eagle Figueiredo would adapt. He knows now, so he also knows not to leave anything on after what happened in frame one. Things going Ego's way at the moment. No need to play the two cushion escape. Just playing to the reds again. charge of the safety at the moment, Miguel Figueroa. Well, that's better.
Another very good safety. There you go. 100% so far. Figure I don't. He's 100% at everything. Potting, long potting, safety. Trump yet to see a pot. Never mind, not one in. Well, that's OK. That's had a dual effect. It's cleared the black into this right corner. There was no way back to the pot area, so just had to play the containing safety shot. Having a good look at this red to the left middle, if you can see enough of it. Now well, that's a poor sit. The first poor safety is played. Cue ball not reaching the balk line. Hasn't left anything easy on. And still cold as far as potting's concerned, Judd Trump. The only problem with that shot is he should be in trouble again next shot. Now, he may have a go at this red if he can miss the black. He'd only leave the red that he's attempting. Always good odds, those, for a top-class player. Caught it much too thin. Lost the cue ball. And may have left an opportunity. Nothing easy there. There is a possible pot to the pot corner. Screw back for the black. It doesn't leave anything on. It mustn't get negative. Trump may be forced into taking this long straight red on to the right corner. Doesn't like being forced into anything. No player does. Now he's got the cue ball back to the balk area. And he's covered the red by the balk line. So a little fortunate. It could have gone anywhere. Didn't get close though to either pot, did he, that he's taken on, on distance. One of those matches though, isn't it, where if Trump wins, people say, well, of course he's won, he's world champion, let's get on with the next round. If he loses, it's a big upset, really. Eagle Figueiredo, world number 110 from Brazil, taking on the world number one and the world champion, who's won four ranking titles this season. So, of course, Trump's a big favourite, but it's Figueiredo who... Came out and first poke, as Stuart Bingham would say, made 140. Well, he could play the cue ball back to the balk area, but looks like he's just playing a containing safety shot. And again, the only problem with that, he leaves Trump an easy safety.
considering playing the double, leaving the cue ball where the red is. He'd be on the black. And he's got a guaranteed good safety. Try to get the cue ball in behind the pink. I think he's trying to get down by the yellow. Oh, he's trying to pot it. Never mind, play the safety. That was just in case. Now, can he pot the pink? What a tremendous pot this was. Pink. Pink. Figueredo must have thought that was safe. I did. Trump didn't. Yes, and he's got no reasons for concern about his own Seven. game, of course. He's having this uh, golden run that shows no sign of stopping any time soon when the German Masters a couple of weeks back it's fourth ranking title of the season Eight. he's made 72 centuries more than anyone else this campaign well he'd like to get the blue back on its spot 11 Got an opportunity to do that. Twelve. If he does pop the black, that would spot in its own spot and would go to both corners. Choice of reds. I think the one to the right 17. corner gets him to the black. If it had wanted to. Thirty-three. Well, if he could have finished a little low on this red, he could have give the reds a nudge, developed more reds. Just like that. Forty-one. Didn't work out, but that's what he tried to do. Well, those two reds below the black. The top one, the one nearest the black, may go to the right corner. If it doesn't, it's difficult to see where the next red's coming from. Forty-eight. Well, that's it. Just Trump, forty-eight. That's a bad miss, really, from Trump. He didn't follow through on the black as far as he wanted, so it wasn't straight enough on on the red that he played. Still thought he would have potted it, though. Oh, well, what a let-off. Uh, where's it going to finish? Forty-eight. 
An amazing but, miss, really, isn't it? And when you consider how well he played in that first frame. Had it been the first frame, you might have been able to understand it, but he made a 140 when he came out frame one. One. Well, he might just be able to tickle these reds. If not, then stun across the table for the red down by the black. So, some attention needed, those reds surrounding the pink. Well, didn't know how they were going to split. So, give himself every Taking. chance of being on one by going into them hard. Well, what a miss 14. from Figueiredo after Trump himself had missed. That was a chance to counter-attack in this frame, maybe pinch it, give Trump lots to think about, but an immediate mistake from the Brazilian. Yes, and that's a point, isn't it? If he'd have punished there, Trump would have been under real pressure. As it is, he needs this red. It should be one each. 20. Strange, because as I say, I'd figure out miss that in frame one. You think, okay, he's nervous, you know, it's all different experience for him and all the rest of it. But he follows the 140, so he was playing great, actually. 27. Just missed it for whatever reason, and it's given Trump a reprieve, a massive one. Spent so long in this match just trying to get in. And he has now won his first frame. 34. Fifty. Yeah, I wonder what he's thinking. Caught that near angle. Yeah, it was uh, an unexpected five. error that followed a Judd Trump miss. That was the disappointment for Igor Figueroa. It was a chance to punish. He didn't take it, and Judd Trump levels the match here in Cardiff at one frame each. Up here against Igor Figueiredo, one apiece, first to four to take on Stephen Maguire tonight in the last 16. He beat the Milkman, Robert Milkins, 4-3 earlier. And this time, he covers the red over that left corner. He still pushed the red out. The red's still in the same spot. But he's got a little bit more side on the cue ball and covered it. Otherwise, it could have been another 140. What Igor's thinking about now is if he plays back down the table, safe. Could leave that long red on. Well, certainly left it oh. on now. Just round four. Just so good at those kind of shots that you do expect him to pot them all the time. Not just Trump, 
anybody. There used to be good shots, those. Now it's just bread and butter. Think may be a bit available to the middle and the corner. Seven. Well, if you can get to what? the red, that's to the right of the black. That was a great positional shot. It would free the black into both pockets. And it would when he's took the other red. Oh, it's still on a red, though. Thirteen. Now, will he take that risk again? Try and play a very accurate positional shot. He has to be so accurate here. But I think he may be on it this time. that that's a great positional shot needs to finish 19. fairly straight on the black so he can get rid of the other red that's blocking the black going into this right corner Twenty. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Uh, Riddled in. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Too straight. May have to play this with a lot of left hand side on top spin on the cue ball to try and get the cannon to the reds. Well, looks like deep screw. Seen one to the middle. 43. Just over screwed it slightly. Doesn't make any difference, though. So. 44. That frees the other red to the right corner. Fifty-two. Well, fully expected to develop another one there, but it didn't happen. Has he found a plant? 59.
It just keeps Six. happening for him, doesn't it? Black to lead by 71. So we'll need another red. And that miss from Figueiredo, that straight forward red in the last frame, is looking like a big moment in this match. Let Trump back in to win the last frame. And now he's nicely in stroke and looking good again. Looking like he has been for the last 68. 15, 16 months. Had he gone 2-0 down, which he could have done, then he would have been right under it. But look at this, it's looking like a century. 75. Yes, he knows how important it was, that red. Nobody needs to tell him. He's probably still thinking about it. Seventy-six. We're seeing here, though, the brilliant end of Trump. The confidence he has in his game. Eighty-three. How comfortable he is. World champion hasn't been the case for every first time winner of that tournament, but Trump just relishing 84. being the man to be shot at because he feels that he can respond. We'll see how he gets on, of course, a couple of months' time when he defends the world title, but whatever. Loves making centuries. And he's the leading century of rank maker. Yeah, Jimmy uh, was saying he 90. thinks he'll get to the 100. Of course, there's no chance. Number 73 for the campaign. What he wants is 104, because Robertson made 103. He wants to set a new record. Ninety-eight. Well, it's going to be another one for the list. <laughs> Fabulous stuff again. 100. Spent so long just trying to get in in that second frame to pot anything. Needed a second chance, he took it. He's taken this one. 100 exactly. Career century number 600 at 89. And Judd Trump has gone in front. Great viewing. Fast and furious stuff. It's Trump leading Igor Figueredo. Chad, a century. Trump's won the last two frames. And Figueredo just gone slightly off the boil after that electrifying start that he made. Yes, it was a poor safety shot, wasn't it? He went in off into that left corner pocket. And it cost him dearly. And when things are going your way, when you do miss, it seems to go safe. Table two is Neil Robertson against Nopin Senkarm. Robertson much better last night, made his 700th, 700th career century. That's live on table two on the Eurosport play. And we will be going to that match if uh, the Trump match finishes and it's still going. We'll be going over to see that one through to a finish. The only other match on, uh, Yan Bing Tao's won the first frame against Stuart Bingham. He was runner-up to Robertson here last year and indeed beat Trump in the final three years ago. Well, they could look at each other and 
suggests a re rack. Nobody's looked yet. Close, and because he got so close, the red stayed over the pocket. Now, how is Igor Figueredo feeling after the last couple of frames, where there's been a few setbacks? Chance to get going again here. One. Needed to miss the yellow, really. Let's turn this brown into a very difficult shot. And if he wants to keep the break going, he's going to try and go into them. Brown. Either that or try and play the cannon to the pink. Yeah, well played. Five. Very difficult shot to play that. Get close to the middle pocket with lots of right hand side on the cue ball. And he deserved better, really. Could have done with something easier than this. Tough part, this. Nope. Not even close. You got to go there, or five? Yeah, I think at this stage, after the last couple of frames, he needed something a bit easier just to settle himself down again. Didn't want early pressure balls there. One. Yep, he'll settle for that. He Four. gave himself choice of reds. One to the right corner, but he knew for certain he was going to be on this red to the left corner. And this leads to the black. Thirteen. See how we played that red to the far angle. Your head up. <coughs> Caught the near angle when he played it. He slightly under hit that one though. Twenty. I have to play up for the blue or pink this time. And he knows he should have been better on this red from such
caught the near angle as well. Managed to drop. Perfectly played Cannant. Twenty seven. Twenty eight. Thirty five. Thirty-six. So things turned pretty dramatically after that misread in the second frame from Figueredo. It was a knock of confidence for him. It was a weigh-in for Trump. Forty-three. The red below the pink will go to the right corner, and he is on it. A matter of choice. Forty four. A couple of ways to play this shot. You could try and get high on the pink. So I can give the Reds a nudge. Try and play on the black. Whatever shot he plays, he needs 50. to be able to nudge them. Now, has he got the angle on the on the pink? Well, he might just be able to force the cue ball into them at the risk of missing the pink. Yeah, he did well there. The pink went right in off that right-hand angle and he developed went nicely. And they're all there now. 57. When he takes his next red, it releases the other two. And already 52 points in front. Yeah, it's been absolutely clinical. Figueredo had that tricky little red to the middle that stayed out. 64. And Trump has pounced again with a chance to make another century. 65. Yeah, and he'll probably be saying to himself, you know, I could have finished on something easier going into the reds. And he could. But he didn't have to take it on. He must have thought he could pot it. And it's cost him. 72. Well, I keep repeating myself, but I think it bears repeating. You could understand all this had he not made the 140. You think, OK, he's nervous, you know, it's a big occasion. Came out first frame as if he owned the table, the way he played. But that unexpected miss in frame two was certainly a, a big turning point. And Trump is looking very good now. And there might not be much more left in this match. We've only been going 49 minutes, Eight. but Trump already on the brink. He'd love another century, of course, one for the growing list. As he... Oh moves towards 100, potentially, for the season. Eighty-six. Yeah, just overdone it. The red would just go. Eighty-seven. And it's just gone. Ninety-one. Ninety-two. Come on. 
Well, it, he could take the yellow to two middles. The left middle, the right middle. A little bit harder. Yep, that will do nicely. And he could hold it for the corner. 94. Just doesn't know when to miss. No, what's impressive is just 96. the relentlessness, isn't it, from Trump? The focus that he's got. And, of course, the talent. So, the Brown for back-to-back -back centuries. Just brilliant again. 103. So, having had one shot in frame one, he's now in complete control. A matter of what? 35 minutes later. Not bad, is it? Four frames, three centuries. 114. <laughs> Fantastic stuff again. Really was, wasn't it? 121 from the world champion Judd Trump. He's already won from victory. 121, he leads Igor Figueredo. 3-1, needing one more frame to set up a, a tasty encounter with Stephen Maguire this evening. Just to remind you that uh, Neil Robertson's on table two. He's actually 1-0 down to Nopin Senkam. Is this the day that Robertson comes unstuck at this tournament? Having been, of course, in three finals in three weekends. Now, frame one, Trump left a long red on. Igor knocked it in. But not this time. Oh, I say that. It's not finished yet. It's not finished yet. Ooh. Well, close. Yeah, but look where it's landed. Yeah. It was safe before that red came back down the table. And now that could be his last shot, and he knows it. One. Remember, only four players have won five ranking titles in a season. Stephen Hendry was the first, Ding Junhui, Mark Selby, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Trump's on four. Nine. So a chance this week to tie the record and chances to come to potentially break it in what's left of the season. A 16. Anybody hurt? 17. Oh. This isn't easy. This could be Igor's last chance, last hope. 17. Looking where that cue ball's coming. He's going to be on that red over the right corner. 22. I think it will cut in. If it doesn't, it's the only place on the table where he can't pot it. Well, he's had a good look at it. Cue ball's close, though. It's close. But it's not in. So far... In the tournament, Trump's only lost two frames. James Cahill won one frame against him. You might watch Billy Castle, because lost the first frame here today. So, he's sort of sprinting through these early rounds, maybe saving something for later. Having said that, he misses that red. Joe Trump, 28. And he hasn't left the red over the middle. He's having a little bit of run.
Yeah, surprising miss, but second prize, I guess. Plenty to think about here because the reds are everywhere. As you can see, can't see the one that Trump missed. That looked to be all or nothing. And he's left the red on. Yeah, I think he felt forced into that. Trump got lucky not leaving the red onto the middle. He gets another chance here. With reds out in the open to wrap it all up. One. Someone famously asked Steve Davis in the 80s, do you not think, Steve, you're getting, getting the luck? And he said, well, playing more matches helps. Eight. But it wasn't luck that caused him to miss that red in frame two, and that was a big moment because he didn't miss anything in frame one. He was brilliant with that 140. And Trump had already broken down, of course, in that second frame, but he was given a chance to, to hit back, and he did so immediately. Now you can see two of the tables it's still going here, Neil Robertson and Stuart Bingham in action. Both in trouble actually. Bingham's 2-0 down. Robertson's trailing in his second frame already 1-0 down. 16. Yeah, Igor hasn't really had a chance since he missed that red. A couple of half chances, but not really in amongst the balls. In fact. Since missing that red, he's only scored five points. And every little rub Seven going Trump's way. Leaving himself the red by the middle pocket. It will cut in. Twenty-four. Try to get right on it. He could have missed the black. So just made sure of the black. Knowing full well he could pop this red. Twenty-five. But that's not the best kiss in the world. It may well play the snooker here. And keep he got under pressure. He wants to finish it off here and now. And he can pot the yellow, he can pot the brown. Both difficult, but why take the risk? He's got the game under control. Let his opponent win it. And he is going to win. But when you can pot like that, well, you can't blame him for going for every shot in the book because he's such a fantastic potter. But for me, Quite the enough. snooker was the shot. Don't let your opponent back in. He had different ideas. Another belter. Brilliant pot. And the right side of the blue as well. So getting closer to the winning line, 63 75. in front with 75 on. A couple of balls needed to wrap this up in round about an hour. 36. A reminder after that we'll be going to the Neil Robertson match. He's 2 0 down, so the defending champ in trouble against Nop and Senkam. But Judd Trump motors on here in Cardiff. He's only lost two frames in three matches. And he could 41. still make a third century. I was just about to say. 42. I wouldn't be surprised. 
Well, I remember Neil Robertson himself, when he made those 100 centuries, he said as, as he got closer to them, he started going for balls in frames, conscious of getting another century. Maybe not playing percentage-wise. Not enough pace. So it's going to take some shot here to keep the break going. Well, if anyone can do it, it's Judd Trump. It's not far away. If anyone can do it, it stays out. Judd Trump, but he's won. Hits. That was short and sweet, wasn't it? An hour's playing time. Igor Figueiredo started superbly with 140 total clearance from him.